hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am filming my two month postpartum and two month baby update i have stuff from what she's eating her diapers what she's wearing um any milestones that she's had and then for me um really just just what's been on my heart recently and i just kind of wanted to talk about it just because as new moms we just need to talk about things so and i hope that nobody's feeling the same way as i am but if they are i hope that they kind of get some peace in what i what what has been on my heart recently so if you want to see our two month update then just keep watching <laughs> Okay, starting, actually I'm going to start with her first because I can just kind of list things off as I go. Okay, for Rory. So, some milestones. She rolled over from her front to her back once. I think it might have been a fluke because it hasn't happened since. She's sucking on her hands. Um, it hasn't happened since, so it might have just been a fluke thing and she might have just been so over tummy time that she was like, you know what, I'm done. Like, I'm going on my back because we were, we put her on her tummy and she hates tummy time. We were cooking dinner and we kept checking in on like we would turn our heads to make sure she was okay. I turn around and she's on her back and I was like, John, she just rolled over and we were just so mesmerized. So we flipped her back over and she got really close to doing it again. But since then she hasn't done it. So it might not happen for a while. Um, she smiles a ton. Right now I probably can't get her to because she's kind of fussy. She can grab toys that are hanging above her. We bought her a play mat. It's the infant tino twist and go i believe i'll link everything down below um and she can hit at the ones that are longer and then when we were in north carolina we needed to get her a toy for her car seat because we were in our car a lot that trip because we were going between houses looking at houses and then going back to them and making offers and just stuff like that so she was kind of getting sick of being in the car seat so we got her just these rings that can attach i think it was like a pack of like 25 for like three bucks at bye bye baby and like I said, I'll link it down below. And we hung a few on her car seat um, on the handle. And then she can just hit them and grab them and stuff. And then we hung a few on one of the rings on her play mat. And then we have a few extra in the diaper bag that I can just like kind of jingle at her. Because it will just keep her entertained for a few minutes. But she'll hit them. She'll grab them. She'll pull with them. She's gotten a few of them pulled off. So she's getting pretty strong. She's also, speaking of grabbing stuff, she is mesmerized by her hands and it is so cute. She'll like look down at them and like kind of grip cross-eyed and she'll like, it's so adorable. It's like one of my favorite things that she does. Maybe that's weird, but I just think it's so cute. Um, and she'll eat them all the time. She babbles constantly, like just blah, 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 mm, screeching. She started screeching. She kind of sounds like an eagle. Um, and it's real loud. It probably sounds like she's crying to our neighbors, but she's not she's just screeching. Um, what else? She, okay. So that's it for pretty much my, I mean, there's more milestones, but it's not really like actions, I guess. Um, she's finally in a few zero to three month outfits. She's now three months old today as I'm filming this and she's finally in a few of them. And the size one diapers don't look absolutely ridiculous. So I think after we run out of the newborn pampers, we can probably start using the ones we have. So that'll be really nice. Um, but yeah, she's in a few zero to three months. She can still fit in a few newborn. Width-wise, they're fine. Lengthwise is what the newborn ones like. Some of them don't even go to her. They, they stop at like her mid-calf. So um, we had to get her in some zero to three month outfits. Like I said, she is still in her newborn Pampers diapers, but she's, the other ones are looking like more, like they don't, aren't going to fall off. So we, I think we can start using those soon. Um, she, ow, she had her first plane ride this month and she did amazing. She was so good. Mind you, it wasn't a super long flight. It was like a two hour, two and a half hour flight, but she pretty much slept the entire time and when she wasn't sleeping she was either playing or she was eating and so it was she was fantastic all the passengers that saw us getting off they were like i didn't even know there was a baby on this plane and i was like thanks yeah she did really good she had her baptism this month which was really exciting and i i think i teared up and i wasn't expecting to like just seeing all of my family and friends in the same place celebrating rory and celebrating god with her was fantastic and her both of her godparents were able to come and they were up at the altar with us and our pastor who married us and he's been an amazing 
influence in our lives. He was able to baptize her and it was, it was just amazing. So yeah, I got us up there and I was just so happy that everybody was able to be in the same place celebrating Rory and celebrating this life that John and I made together. So that's definitely a huge milestone this month for her and I. Um, let me see my phone locked. She also got to see where we were going to be living in our future hometown. She got to pick out a house with us and we did make a, well, we didn't have a bought it yet. We made an offer. We got accepted and we are closing in May and we we're moving out there. I'm flying out there with her June 4th. So that's super exciting. And I'm, John and I are just so excited to have her grow in this house with us and have more babies and have her have siblings and it just be our family home. So that's also a really big plus this month. Um, let's see. I am trying to transition her from her swaddle to a sleep sack. I really struggled this with, with this a couple of weeks ago. And I finally, that, that day I was like, maybe she should stop being swaddled. Like, is she at that age yet? And, um, Ovia Parenting, I think, is the app that told me that you should start transitioning them between two to three months. And I was like, that seems really early. Like she is nowhere near ready for that. But I was like, I mean, they're the experts. We kind of match, honey. Wow. Yes. I did a great job today. <laughs> um, and so I was, I tried I, that. I, it was like her first nap of the day. I didn't swallow her. I just put her down. Heck no, it did not work at all. She was up within like 10 minutes startling herself and I would finally get her to fall back asleep. I'd pick her up, rock her, put her down, happen. Like I tried the three naps and I finally was like, screw this. Like, no, I'm going insane. And so I put her back and I got back online and, ooh, um, and I was like, maybe somebody else has like went longer. And so I found an article that said between four to six months, no, three to four months. And I was like, that seems a little more accurate. And it, but it also had like six signs that your baby's ready to stop being swaddled. And she wasn't at any of those. One of them was she's, they're really fighting it when they're going down. And she didn't love being swaddled in the process. Ow. But she, once we got her swaddled and she was down, she was fine. But, and like when I said she would struggle a little bit, she would just kind of be like, meh, meh. But once we got her arms down, she was fine. And then she would leave them down for a few seconds for us to like zip her up and everything. But then a couple of days ago, she started screaming her head off when we tried doing it. She would not put her arms down like she was fighting. And I was like, that's kind of weird. And then she started breaking out of this swaddle and it's the Embay swaddle. And so it's literally a straight jacket. You, it's not like a blanket swaddle at all. And there's like no way for them to break out of it unless they are determined. She got, she got the Velcro off that was under the zipper part. It's really confusing. Um, and her legs were sticking out and her arms were sticking out the bottom and the top part was like up around her neck, like choking her. And I was like, how the heck did she do that? And then she did it again. And I was like, that's kind of weird. And she wasn't sleeping well. Like she was fighting in her sleep, like getting her arms all the way up and it was ridiculous. And so I was like, you know what? I think, I think it might be time. So just last night we put her to bed, like actual bed, not nap time with one arm out and we had the other one and she slept like a dream. I think she slept seven hours, woke up, we gave her a pacifier. She kept it in for an hour and like a half. And then we had to give it back to her cause she had accidentally spit it out and she woke up and wanted it. And then that was it. Like we were up for the morning. And so, and normally she sleeps like three to four hours and then up every hour after that wanting her pacifier. It was fantastic. We, I feel so rested. That, that was last night. And so I ordered the Zen sleep sack and I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard a lot of really good reviews and I've heard some bad. Do keep in mind everything for a baby, like every baby's different. And so everything that works for one baby is not going to work for another. And so what this thing is, and um, you can check down the, in the down bar to see what I'm talking about. Cause I'm not going to describe it really well, but it has like this egg shaped thing that goes on their chest or on their back. If they are a stomach sleeper when they're older and they can safely do that. And it, I think it has, rice or beans in it or beads or something and it's weighted and so it feels like your hand is there and i've heard some people say it worked wonders and i've heard some people say it made their baby sleep worse so i mean it's something like that you have to kind of just try um we need a sleep sack anyways so as long as it doesn't make her sleep worse 
if it doesn't make it any better, it's something that she can still wear to bed. It's a wearable blanket. And so her hands can still be out. So that comes in the mail today. It had free one day shipping on Amazon. Um, so that's what I did. And I'm really excited. I think it was like $35. It wasn't too bad. I mean, sleep sacks are pretty pricey. So we're working on that, but I will definitely update you guys because her first nap today, I did no arms. Like I had both arms out and she slept like a dream still. And so, which has never happened, which is crazy. I didn't have her, I still had her swaddled up. So maybe she likes the tightness of the swaddle, but wants her arms free. So that's something also keep in mind if you're kind of in the same boat that I am. A couple of days ago, actually it was last weekend. It was on Friday and today's Tuesday, no, today's Wednesday. She started spitting up after every feeding, which is really abnormal for her. And then she started throwing up and she threw up three times in a six to seven hour period. And so he went to the ER because the Children's Mercy triage line had like a guideline that if the baby's 12 weeks or younger and they've thrown up three or more times in a 24 hour period that they need to be seen immediately. Well, it was a Friday night. So our pediatrician wasn't open and they weren't gonna be open all weekend. So she was like, you need to go to the ER just to be safe because she had also been constipated and they were like, we don't want we want to make sure that there's not like a gastro obstruction or something. So he took her and they think that it might have been a viral thing. Um, but she didn't have a fever. She wasn't acting funny. It was really weird. Um, and then it's okay. Oh, um, and then she started doing it again. And so I went to the pediatrician yesterday and I think it might be her formula. I have no idea. You guys, I'm just kind of, doing what like going with the flow and so we're we were this is this is the these are the things we've tried so we started out with supplementation when i was still nursing her and then when we discovered we needed to go only to formula we started with baby's only organic she hated it i wanted her to like it because i felt a little bit better about giving that to her than like the similac stuff she did not like it so we went back to supplementation for a little bit then we started advance and that was okay, but it didn't come in the huge tins. And if it did, but it didn't have the non-GMO kind. And so I looked at the Pro Advance compared to the Advance and one Pro Advance just has, um, oh jeez, there's something, you can look at it, but it's something that helps. It's that it resembles breast milk a little bit more. And so that was the only thing. And I was like, okay, then yeah. And it comes in the big tub. And I think it's like a couple of bucks cheaper than Advance, which doesn't make any sense. Um, and so we just did that and she was fine. We've been on that for uh, three weeks to a month maybe. And she was fine and this started. And so my, our pediatrician yesterday gave us the Infamil one for spit up and it has rice something in it, rice flour, rice cereal. I don't know. And so does the spit up one from Similac. It clogged the nipple and I was like, no, this is stupid. So I, we had given, we had some Similac samples from Similac sent to us and, um, so I, right now she's trying the total comfort and she spit up once, but it wasn't nearly, it was just a little bit like normal baby spit up. And that was it since yesterday. So hopefully it was just a matter of switching formulas and that I can totally do and not something like she's sick or I don't even know, has like a little protein allergy or anything. Cause she also is having a really bad diarrhea, TMI, but that's mom life. So whoops. But yeah, so that's where we're at with that. Um, and then keep going back to my list she's still struggling with some cradle cap it's getting better but i'm still trying to find some things that work the mistella shampoo really helps but hers is just really bad and so i'm trying to fix that and she also has a little bald spots everywhere um she's still getting one bottle of breast milk a day and then she at the er they weighed her and she's weighing it in at 11 pounds, six ounces. So she's really getting up there. But I was telling John, I was like, I have no idea how she's that heavy because she's tiny. Like, I feel like camera, you can't tell, but when you're in person, she is so small. Like I took her to my old work yesterday so everybody could see her again. And they were like, she's so small. And I was like, yeah, she's 11 pounds. And they're like, ah, how, how is she 11 pounds? And then one more thing is for her at least is um, that I started using the Infantino carrier and I really like it. I still love my Solly baby wrap, but I think we're going to have to go to the Infantino for a little bit just until she can safely kind of sit up on her own because 
the infantino has like a back part that can sit behind her neck so she can still look up but she's not like going like this all the time her head's getting really strong but sometimes like she just gets tired and doesn't want to hold it up anymore and i was like i don't want to have to constantly be holding her head like the whole point of wearing them is that you have your hands free so i do the only thing about the solly that i love way more um is one it's super cute to like they just look like a little bundle it's so cute and it's tiny like it just rolls up into a ball the infantino is still pretty bulky um hold on i'm gonna go put her in her swing okay she's in her swing so i think we have a few minutes um but yeah the only thing about the infantino is that it's pretty bulky and so i still might even take my solly baby wrap when i fly but it's pros and cons and i got to think about it a little bit because infantino is easier um to just do really fast and the solid baby wrap you have to i i'm super careful about it touching the ground which is hard because it's just this huge long piece of fabric but the solid baby wrap is a lot easier to travel with than this huge bulky thing so i'm gonna have to play around with it and just kind of decide which one i want to do but I really, like I said, I really like both. John will never wear the Solly. He will only use the Infantino. So that's another thing. If your husband doesn't want to wear a wrap, then I, I mean, I suggest getting both. I'm pretty sure the Infantino carrier is pretty cheap. The Solly baby wrap is a little expensive. It's 65, but I, like I said, I really enjoy it and I'm glad I got it. Okay. I think that's it for Rory. I think I got through that. Um, so mine's pretty short. Um, I'm no longer tender down there it's a pretty it's pretty normal now um that's pretty much my only symptom my other things are kind of just thoughts i've been trying to get her out of the house more because even if i don't do anything else that day i feel like i've accomplished something and just gotten some fresh air and i don't feel nearly as frustrated that more like the rest of the evening because i've just left but it's also been raining what was that noise it's also been raining like crazy, so I can't really take her out. And it's starting to get cold again, which I'm just waiting for spring because it's really hard to get her out when it's super cold. Um, let's see. And then I'm just trying to tell myself, because I just really dwell on the hard days, which is has always been an issue of mine. And I really try to tell myself, like, some days are good, some days are hard, but that doesn't make days bad it just makes some days a little harder to keep your patience hold on <laughs> she's crying okay i'm back <laughs> but i really dwell on the hard days and just chalk it up as an awful day and that nothing else matters and i don't even try to like make the rest of the day a good day like when she was throwing up all day i was just in such a bad mood and i felt so bad because john comes home from work and i'm just so cranky and my fuse is so short with her, with him, with her dog. And I, I've really been praying to God just give me patience. There's a dog outside. Because these moments go by so fast with her and with my husband. Like, I want to be in the best mood. And just because something bad has happened does not mean you have to make the whole day a bad day. And you, like 90% of a bad day is your attitude. Like, just not getting over something. So I've really been praying about that. And then the other thing is, and I've talked about this multiple times already, and it's just really something I'm struggling with in motherhood. And as a woman, I've struggled with it, but even more now is just comparing myself to other women, women that aren't even moms and who haven't even bared a child. And then other moms, like I, I just, oh my gosh, I have such a hard time and I can't blame anybody else except myself. Nobody like does anything, like nobody brags. I mean, maybe they do, but um, I mean, that's on you to just be a stronger person in yourself and not let that get to you. But I, like, for example, I, I follow a lot of mom blockers and a lot of mom YouTubers. Um, and they're like, I mean, they're like a month or farther along than I am postpartum, but still like they're super in shape already. And I get really down about myself and I have to remind myself, like not all of them are like this, but all of them, most of them, either their husbands work for them at home or work from home by themselves or they have an assistant. And so I, and so they have help. Like they can go to the gym once a day at a reasonable hour. Um, and I, I can't do that. Like if I wanna go to the gym, I either have to go at 5.30 in the morning or I have to go like 11 o'clock at night. 
and if I do either of those, I'm not getting nearly enough sleep to be arrested, to be able to take care of her and just be a happy mom for her and a happy wife for my husband. And I'm not saying I just never try. Like if I, John has a day off, I really try to get to the gym, but then I also really want to spend time with my husband because days off for him are very rare. So that's really something I've been struggling with. And I had mentioned to one of my a mom friend yesterday she was like, Rachel, you have got to stop doing that. Like, you're going to make yourself so upset and you, that's not what Rory needs. She needs you to be happy and be happy with yourself because you want her to grow up loving who she is and loving other women, but not hating herself at the same time. And I was like, yes, you're right. I really need to teach those values. So I've really been praying about that. And that doesn't mean I'm anywhere near it. I'm probably farthest from it, but... It's something I pray about multiple times a day, every day. I talk about it with John all the time. He t tells me I'm beautiful almost every day and I never listen to him. And I need to, I just need, I need to be like, yeah, like I'm beautiful in my own way. Like just because another woman's beautiful does not mean I'm not beautiful. Just because another woman's a good mom does not mean I'm not a good mom. So that's something that's really been on my heart lately. Um, I hope nobody else is struggling with that, but if you are, Know that you're not alone. Know that you're not the only mom out there that's feeling this way because I know I'm not the only mom out there and maybe even those moms I'm looking up to that I'm, I'm like, you are such a great mom. You're doing all the great things. You are giving your mom, you're giving your child breast milk. You're so in shape. Maybe those moms see other moms and feel the same way and feel like they're bad. And, but I'm looking up to the ones that also have the same issue. So that's just something I've been thinking and Rory's fallen asleep so I think that's my cue to get off of here I hope you guys enjoyed this three month update if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like me make sure you subscribe and I will be back in the next few days with another video bye guys I was ready to